Amy Schumer was initially cast as Barbie in 2016 when the project was with Sony Pictures, but she left due to creative differences and scheduling conflicts. The project later moved to Warner Brothers, with Margot Robbie taking on the role. Julia Roberts was originally cast as Viola de Lesseps in Shakespeare in Love. However, the role eventually went to Gwyneth Paltrow after Miramax re-envisioned the project. Anne Hathaway was initially set to play Tiffany in The Silver Linings Playbook, but left the project due to creative differences with director David O. Russell. Jennifer Lawrence was then cast in the role. Britney Spears was considered for the role of Allie in The Notebook. She even did a screen test with Ryan Gosling, but the role ultimately went to Rachel McAdams. John Travolta was originally offered the role of Forrest Gump, but turned it down to star in Pulp Fiction. The role eventually went to Tom Hanks, whose performance became iconic and earned him an Academy Award. Marilyn Monroe was initially considered for the role of Holly Golightly in Breakfast at Tiffany's. However, Monroe turned down the role, and it ultimately went to Audrey Hepburn. Claire Danes was among those offered the role of Rose in Titanic, but she declined, feeling unprepared for another romantic epic after Romeo plus Juliet with Leonardo DiCaprio. Ultimately, Kate Winslet took on the iconic role. Sandra Bullock was initially considered for the role of Maggie in Million Dollar Baby, but due to scheduling conflicts and other commitments, she had to step away. The role eventually went to Hilary Swank, who delivered an Oscar-winning performance. Tom Selleck was initially cast as Indiana Jones, but had to turn down the role due to his commitment to a TV show. As a result, the iconic role went to Harrison Ford. Angela Bassett was offered the role of Letitia in Monster's Ball, but turned it down because she felt the character was stereotypical and didn't align with her values. The role eventually went to Halle Berry, who won an Academy Award for her performance. Tom Hanks was originally considered for the lead role in Jerry Maguire, but scheduling conflicts prevented him from taking the part. The role ultimately went to Tom Cruise, who delivered a memorable performance. Jack Nicholson was offered the role of Michael Corleone in The Godfather, but turned it down. He believed that the role should be played by an Italian actor, and ultimately, Al Pacino was cast. Emma Watson was originally cast as Mia Dolan in La La Land, but she had to drop out due to scheduling conflicts with her role in Beauty and the Beast. Emma Stone then took over the role of Mia. Hugh Jackman was offered the role of James Bond in Casino Royale, but he declined the part due to the demands of playing Wolverine in the X-Men franchise. Daniel Craig was ultimately cast as James Bond. Emily Blunt was initially considered for the role of Black Widow in Iron Man 2, but she had to turn it down due to contractual obligations with another film, Gulliver's Travels. The role ultimately went to Scarlett Johansson. The role of Sister Mary Clarence in Sister Act was originally written for Bette Midler, but she declined. Whoopi Goldberg ended up playing the part. Denzel Washington turned down the role of Detective David Mills in the movie Seven, which was later played by Brad Pitt. Will Smith turned down the lead role in Django Unchained, and Jamie Foxx took his place. Sir Ian McKellen was considered for the role of Dumbledore in Harry Potter, but it was ultimately played by Richard Harris. Angelina Jolie turned down the role of Alex Munday in Charlie's Angels, which was then played by Lucy Liu. Christina Applegate declined the role of Elle Woods in Legally Blonde, which was then portrayed by Reese Witherspoon. Jessica Biel auditioned for the role of Mary in The Other Boleyn Girl, but it ultimately went to Scarlett Johansson. It made Biel very upset because she really wanted to play this character. Paul Giamatti was in the running to play Michael Scott in The Office, but the role eventually went to Steve Carell. Johnny Depp was considered for the role of Ferris Bueller in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, but Matthew Broderick ended up playing the character. Frances Bean Cobain was considered for the role of Bella in Twilight, but she turned it down because she wasn't interested in acting at the time. The role eventually went to Kristen Stewart, who became widely known for her portrayal of Bella. Nicolas Cage was considered for the role of Aragorn in The Lord of the Rings, but Viggo Mortensen ultimately played the part. Kira Knightley was considered for the role of Jane Austen in Becoming Jane. However, Anne Hathaway ultimately landed the role, and her performance was widely praised. Reese Witherspoon, who produced Gone Girl, initially planned to star as Amy. However, her colleagues and director David Fincher felt she wasn't right for the role, and Witherspoon agreed. Ultimately, Rosamund Pike was cast and delivered a highly praised performance. Joel Schumacher initially wanted Brad Pitt to play the young lawyer in The Devil's Advocate, but after Taylor Hackford took over as director, Keanu Reeves was cast instead. 
Reeves chose this role over a lucrative offer for Speed 2. Emma Stone turned down the role of Jane in The Legend of Tarzan, which then went to Margot Robbie. This added another standout character to Robbie's filmography. Robert Pattinson was considered for the role of Napoleon Solo in The Man from U.N.C.L.E., but Henry Cavill ultimately secured the part.